Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Oak Crafts Design Team and today I have a Baby Girl mini album to share with you today. I use the Me and My Big Ideas, which is also known as Mambi Baby Girl Stack. This is a super cute stack. And the album that I made, the covers are eight and a quarter square and the inside pages are eight by eight. I used Laura Dennison's Stack the Deck binding system. I'm going to put a link down in the description box below for her video on that. And also I will make sure to list all the products that I use for, from Wild Orchid Crafts down in the description box along with the links to Wild Orchid Crafts. I also used lots of cameo cuts that I bought from the online silhouette store. So I'll have those listed in the description box below. And lastly, I will have a link to my mini album tutorial of how I make my mini albums. It's going to be a different size than this one, but the concept is the exact same. So once you have the concept down, you can really make any size album that you'd like. So on the front, I use the same paper on the front and the back. super cute paper and on the spine here I wanted to keep it simple I just used a cut from the cameo this is a scallop border and here this is a, a cameo cut I did I think three layers of them to make them a little bit more dimensional and then here I used a wooden crown that I first painted white then I used some Versamark on the top here and then dusted it with some perfect pearls and then I sprayed it with the perfect pearl mist in perfect pearls. I have a beautiful cluster. I have a magnolia flower here, chrysanthemum, two of them actually, um, some hip rosebuds, some open roses from Wild Orchid Crafts, some little 10 millimeter open roses, some of their leaves and then I also have some of the self-adhesive pink pearls I have a little ribbon buckle here with one of their large pearls. And then I also cut this little bow from the Cameo, placed a little 10 millimeter open rose in it. This strip of paper here is a border strip from the paper that I cut out. And then I added some of the DCWV glitter stack paper in pink and silver. I love that paper. So if you've been following me at all, you know that I've been doing these accordion um, flips in my album. This is a frame. This is the only thing that I was not able to find a link to to list for you. It's called frame. So when I went back to the Silhouette online store to try and look it up, I could not find it. But it's just a general scallop frame. I use some seam binding and some flat back pearls. And on the front here, this is a Subway Art by Echo Park. And then when you open it up, you have lots more room for photos. So I like doing that, that way they can get lots of photos in this album. Every page has a large pull-out mat, so she can add photos to the back and front. This is for my niece who's having a baby. On this first page I made a pocket. I used some of this pink bling trim, a button that I had in my stash for quite a while. And behind it I added a little of the pink and white American Crafts Baker's twine and a bow with a flat back pearl. She can place photos in this pocket. Look how sweet that paper is. I love that. And here's, um, I believe it's called like a baby phrase list. I made it in gray and pink. And then on the back she can journal or place photos. And then here's a little tag that I also cut out from the Cameo, added a little seam binding and an open rose. The next page I have a little bracket wa waterfall, some ribbon trim and a cottage rose. I love the cottage roses. So she's able to get quite a few photos in this as well. On this side here I just did a large side pocket and I added a bow and one of their flat back flower centers. Those are so pretty. For the inside pocket I just have a matted piece of the design paper, super soft pretty paper and um, she can journal or 
I hope place photos. She can put photos in the pocket as well. Here's a paper cutout from the collection and a little bottle just for decoration or she could journal on it as well. Here's just a large place for a photo. I added a couple of the foundation blooms, one of the Wild Orchid Craft resin flowers and some of their leaves back here. And this is from the cutout as well, the paper collection. I backed it on some white um, cardstock and then put some chipboard under it and placed it behind the flower. This side here, I just designed a bracket shape in my cameo and made a flip to it. I added one of those bows and an open rose. So a large place for a photo journaling and it's magnetized. And then I didn't do anything to this paper so she can just add several photos or one large one. This one here is a postage stamp frame. I left the top open so she can slip a photo behind it and I also put a piece of acetate behind it um, that she can use as a template for what size she needs that photo to be. There's something underneath here. So again, that'll just tuck behind it and then she can glue that down. Love this organza rose trimming. This is in the baby pink from Wild Orchid Crafts. They also have it um, in blue and ivory and white. I love this. She can place a large photo here and here as well. And look how cute this paper is. So on this side, I did a side belly band. I used some trim from Hobby Lobby. I used Wild Orchid Crafts uh, flat back pearl trim. And I added some of the cottage roses in the shape of a heart. I don't know if that shows on there like what I was going for, but that's what I was going for is shape of a heart. And then a piece of paper from the collection. I matted it. Another tag with a bow. And then she can slip photos behind here as well. On the side here, I again used made a pocket. I added this bundle of joy. This wording bundle of joy is the same from the same collection that I purchased on the Silhouette store, but the difference is, is I printed it out on that and cut it out on this. So I just printed this from my computer and uh, it's in gray. I did a white mat for the pocket. And this here is her baby shower invitation. It went really well with this paper collection, so I thought I would just tuck it in a pot in one of the pockets so she can save it for a keepsake. And then this here is a mat. I added a large um, button that I had with one of their flower centerpieces, a couple of the cherry blossoms and a sweetheart blossom. On this page, it's a large flip up. It's magnetized. I have a bow with a little zipper here that I first painted white and then sprayed it with some Lindy's um, cotton candy. I couldn't think of it. Cotton candy spray. And this is magnetized. It opens up for lots more photos, large photo or a few photos here. And then on this back page, I made it into a pocket as well. A large pocket so she can get quite a few um, photos here and I don't know how well it'll pick it up but I put a little tab back there just for a little added interest I made a mat with a strip of the paper a bow a handmade enamel dot and then on the front here I use some of their pleated box trim and this beautiful little flower trim. It's very dainty and very pretty. I'll show you up close in a moment. I added several of the foundation blooms with some of Wild Orca Craft stamens in the middle. I love how this turned out. And then I have a cottage rose, two open roses, some heather flowers, and then my absolute favorite are these glitter balls. Again, I'll show you up close in a moment. And these cabochons from Wild Orca Crafts. These are so pretty. I just ordered more of both of those because these are a must have in my stash. Look how cute that glitter ball is. And then the cabochon. So that is my album, very sweet album. And also I want to share with you, I thought this was really cute. I made her um, to, I have a basket put together that I'm going to add these to, you know, a basket with a bunch of uh, baby goodies in them. So I made her some onesies. I bought these just general onesies 
at uh, Babies R Us, and I added the heat transfer vinyl, the glitter, and it says the princess has arrived, which I thought was adorable. And then this one is my favorite. It says, when God made me, he said, ta-da. And then this one I found on Pinterest and had to use it. It says that awkward moment when your mom smells your butt in front of your friends. <laughs> so cute. So I hope you like my um, project share with you today. I will link all the products that I used in the description box below. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And you'll find all the links to Wild Orchid Crafts in the description box as well. Thanks so much for watching and welcome to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate all my new and my older subscribers, all my loyal subscribers. I'm grateful for all of you. So thanks for stopping by.